What's up, guys? I'm Pastor Mandy. I'm Pastor Mandy. Uh, I'm Pastor Eddie. And today we're going to talk about how to be a good listener. What are we doing? <laughs> When we talk about gifts that we have, have you ever noticed how certain kinds of gifts seem to get more attention than others? Yeah. It's easy to tell a kid that they're a good musician or an athlete or a public speaker uh, or a leader, but what about those not so obvious gifts for our kids or teenagers? What are they and how can we be better at recognizing them in our children? So number one, think differently. How many not so obvious gifts can you even name? Have you ever thought about being a good listener as a gift? For example, if your teen or kid is empathetic, funny, kind, compassionate, inclusive, a learner, this list could go on forever because your child is infinitely and uniquely gifted. And the second thing is this, get curious. Hmm. When we start with the assumption that every teenager or every kid is gifted, then we're more likely to see how our children are actually gifted. And to do this, we have to slow down to pay attention. Remember a few months ago, be a listener, listen more than you speak, ask better questions about how and when they really thrive. Number three, make a connection. When you notice a gift in your teenager or child, cultivate it by connecting them with the people or the resources that can help them grow. We have a ton of resources here at the church. Between mentors, coaches, books, podcasts, online courses, and videos, there is so many ways to connections that can be made. Absolutely. And give them opportunities. They want to be used, so find a way to help your teenager use their gift in a meaningful way. Point out those not so obvious gifts in your teenager because your teenager needs to see what you see in them. Hey, thanks so much for joining us this month. We'll see you again next month.